Welcome everybody to Extreme Off-Road Silly Builds and today we're dealing with the 1974 Holden Sandman HQ Panel Van. Now this has a 1,006 horsepower, 834 pounds feet of torque, 7 litre supercharged V8 and the car weighs 2,749 pounds. Now it's still rear wheel drive uh, but it can still do 0 to 16 5.266 seconds and not to 110.450 seconds and it'll go into 193 mile an hour. So yeah, it's dealing with a fairly uh, large amount of power for a rear wheel drive car from the 70s, but it should hopefully do okay. I'm not expecting it to be awful like, uh, say, the Isetta or the Supervan, but it's still going to be probably be a bit tricky. Like all the other cars, it's got off-road tyres, off-road suspension, and uh, yeah, it's been a little bit modified in terms of how it looks. Uh, this uh, sand uh, man is one of the uh, unique cars like, in that you can actually take the uh, back end off and turn it into a ute if you wanted to, but I haven't. I've left it as it is because, yeah, it's quite quite unique in uh, how it looks already. So uh, let's uh, get going. I've put some other modifications on it as you can see, including the surfboards. That's one of the uh, body modifications that were available. Sound really rather good about this car now. I already did anyway. <sighs> Completely missed that there already, didn't I? Didn't realise. Right, there we go. So yeah, struggling for grip from those rear tyres, dealing with all this extra power on this kind of surface. A bit oversteery. A lot of cars on the series struggling with the water. Everything else is dealing with pretty decently. Certainly got to get up to some speed. Once again, water slowing it down. There we go. Still a pretty solid time, though. I'll say that at one at two minutes twenty-five point nine four six. So yeah, that is only 0.4 of a second slower than the Opel Manta 400 which considering that's a uh, was a, well was a rally car and then obviously I've upgraded it a bit is a uh, pretty decent and it's quicker than the Ford Super Deluxe station wagon so it's quicker than a car that it kind of yeah is kind of a more modern version of and uh, far faster than the Oreo Nomad, Mayor's Manx and obviously the Ice Setter and the Supervan but still some way off the likes of the Polaris and the uh, Warthog but yeah, considering that it's age, the fact it's dealing with more than a thousand horsepower for that rear wheels and it's not got all that much weight over the rear end anyway. Uh, yeah, fairly decent time. Obviously it had its issues. Couldn't really get for the water all that well, unlike other vehicles. Uh, and uh, obviously it was dealing with some traction issues on the rear end. But apart from those two things, it was uh, pretty decent. Dealt with the bumps and the jumps okay. Uh, its acceleration was solid. Could get up to some fairly decent speed as well. So, uh, yeah, not too many complaints at all. And, uh, yeah, highly recommend trying to find this car if you can on the, this game, if you've got it. Because even stock, I do love this car. 
Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.